Family road trip it is. Welcome to California. We made it. Washington to Oregon to California in less than two days. We are Susie and Martin, a couple of longtime Seattle residents looking to escape the rain. So we're heading to Northern California for a few weeks and taking our baby Julian on his first long road trip. In this episode, we make it as far as the Redwood Forest with a couple pit stops in Oregon. On day one, we depart Seattle with our fully loaded Jeep Grand Cherokee and drive two and a half hours south to Vancouver, Washington. As the fourth largest city in the state, Vancouver also happens to have a great weekend farmer's market, so we make a stop here to stretch our legs. Here we are in sunny and windy Vancouver, Washington. So we're here on a Saturday morning, or afternoon actually, and there's a farmer's market going on, so we're gonna check it out and see what they've got. Here's a farm which also comes to Seattle in our, in our neighborhood, Martinez. I buy from them all the time. You've got red bell peppers, a dollar each. It's yeah, that's way cheaper price. than... That's a good price. Normally they sell like as much as gold per ounce. Uh-huh. 75 cents for radishes. I will get this cauliflower. It's two dollars a pound for cauliflower. You can eat well if you live in Washington State. This market keeps going. It goes this way to the left and to the right. So we're gonna keep cruising. And it's on the edge of a very, very nice park as well, which we'll go see after this. So we stepped off the market right into the park here. And the park looks just gorgeous right now in this season. We're gonna pick up a meat stick for the road. Sounds good, that'll be $9. That's gonna be our snack for the road. So we're about to take off from the market, get an oil change and drive through half of Oregon. All right guys, if you haven't met him, this is Julian, our almost five month old baby and he's going on our road trip with us. And so in order to break up the trip so that he's not sitting in his car seat all day, we do stop and have a little walk for ourselves and also put on the Ergo Baby Carrier and give him a chance to kind of stretch his legs and look around and have a new experience. And so that keeps him from being too fussy and yeah, hopefully makes the road trip experience better for both us and for him. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> had a good time at the market. What do you have to say about your adventure so far? He's a little camera shy. Uh -oh. <laughs> After the farmer's market, we hop back onto Interstate 5, and within minutes, we cross over into Oregon State. We drive past Portland and through the beautiful Oregon countryside. and eventually make a stop at Rittner Creek Bridge. Uh, we've been driving through gorgeous countryside in Oregon and we found one of those famous covered bridges that for some reason have been really trendy in the USA. It's kind of like a quaint blast from the past type of thing. I like that this, I guess you used to be able to drive over it, but now they've got little picnic benches here instead. Built in 1927, it was the last covered bridge on a state highway in Oregon. As a result, it is on the National Register of Historic Places. 20 minutes later, we arrive at our accommodations for the night in Philomath, just outside of Corvallis. All right, we're here at our first accommodations for this trip, which is an Airbnb in Oregon. Wow, it's like a cute little studio. Yeah, it's a loft. Yep. Right wow, here pretty. is the farmland. Next on the agenda is, I think, trying to figure out where to eat because we didn't really see any commercial establishments around here, so. And I ended up getting food poisoning, so we didn't vlog at all on this stop. Things are moving so fast on this trip, we haven't had any time to vlog since last night. We went out to eat, and we thought it was a good place to eat. And it was a nice barbecue, gluten-free extravaganza, the whole menu. But then Susie got food poisoning. Yes, my overnight wasn't so great. Uh, but yeah, I woke up fine this morning. So that was over in Philomath. Philomath? something like that, just outside of Corvallis. 
And then after that, we left Corvallis, drove to Roseburg, and stopped to see Julian's great-grandmother. That was amazing, and the drive there was so Halloween perfect. Full color everywhere. Unfortunately, we discovered our car accident that I have some vlogs about on some memory card out there. Um, he has affected our lights and we're about to get into the darkest forest I've ever been, the Redwood Forest with the tallest trees in the world. And I'm pretty nervous because we're actually running out of time to not get there after dark. So it's gonna be interesting tonight. There'll be a little bit of stress and drama, but I think we can cope for now. The little prince is eating in there. So while Susie is feeding him, I flew the drone over here beyond these bushes. There's gorgeous, gorgeous fall color and altogether rolling hills. The sitting is amazing. So I was able to get some drone action out there of this. And beyond there is a big river and a bridge and it's really nice. So we'll show you some of that stuff. A few hours later, we check in from California. Well, it's not the healthiest meal I've had, but driving hundreds of miles, remote places, nothing else, this does the job. Well, the moment has come. It's almost the end of the day. We've been driving all day. The baby is crying and we're running out of daylight and our lights are a little damaged. We've got a little pull out here. This is maybe our third time, uh, third, fourth time pulling over since we've left our grandma's house. Yeah. <laughs> Which does slow down the whole drive, but you know, that's part of it. That's why we're going to drive in dark. He's smiling now. Yeah. He just missed us. He, he hasn't seen the face in a couple of hours. Mm. <laughs> He's so happy he now. He thought you were going to be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is important that we're finding for road trips, especially if he's like getting fussy. Usually he just needs a break and just wants to be held and be loved. Mm. Oh, yes, baby. Sweetie. So yeah, we're here on the side of the road, somewhere randomly, the Hoochie or Huchi Community Fellowship. Trees oh, have gotten taller. baby, we're in California. That's right. It's your new state. It's your second <laughs> new state. Family road trip it is. Welcome to California. We made it. Washington to Oregon to California in less than two days. From Seattle, not just any part of Washington. Mm -hmm. So two days, two days of driving. We're in California. We'll be sleeping right in the feet of the redwoods. Okay, wow, we made it. It was a little crazy. Yeah, he was pretty unhappy towards the end. But yeah, we made it. And this is our cabin. It's really neat. There's like one big room out here. So we have like our dining room area, the living room area, the kitchen and the bathroom are off to this side. And then upstairs is the open bedroom. Oh, he's in the hair grabbing phase right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bedroom is really neat. There we go, staircase. Ooh. The loft. Ah. <laughs> Dear. Super baby. Super baby. Super baby. <laughs> well, we're up bright and early at 11 o'clock. <laughs> yes, this is our new bright and early for our uh, standard baby days. But we've done everything. We fed ourselves, we fed him, and we're ready to go outside. But I don't know if the weather is ready for us or we're ready for the weather. <laughs> yeah, when I was planning the trip, the weather was fine. But um, the last week, this huge thing called the Atmospheric River came and brought insane amounts of water from the ocean to California. So now it's soaking us. But, you know, we did expect some rain because we did come to a rainforest in November. <laughs> so <laughs> we will be adapting. You see the mist rolling in from the ocean. And the rain keeps falling, but this is the view immediately from our room. And you see the cars driving fast and trucks. That is Highway 101, one of the best roads in the world. So we arrived on it at night. Um, it was kind of not the funnest drive when it got dark, but around the back here we're parked. And we have a pretty huge cabin for the four days here. So while it's raining, we're not at all feeling that um, unpleasant, honestly. We have his baby gym, his bouncer, 
He's playing right now in his mom's lab. We have a yoga mat for everybody to <laughs> use. A uh, fireplace right here by the yoga mat, very nice. So we're actually gonna drive to the next town over called Arcata. And in there we're gonna look for rain gear and for better food to cook in here. And then start thinking how we can hike in the rain because it will rain for three out of four days that we're here. Okay, we drove down a bit to a town called Arcata in Humboldt County to look for shoes and the rain actually stopped. So we need some waterproof shoes and also some ponchos because even though we have all that gear in Seattle, we were in such a rush trying to pack everything that we forgot a lot of our essential rain gear. So yeah, we came to this small town. It's actually a really nice little town and we were able to find a running store and an outdoor store to get some of the gear that we need. They are pretty stocked for the rain and hiking gear because they are in a rainforest hiking paradise. I solved my problem, I got the perfect shoe ultra long peak waterproof and it's exactly what i wanted and what i wear and they hit my size which is a miracle well we finally made it to the forest at like five o'clock it is still raining but we're still out here i feel a bit like totoro right now i've got this like, little gray carrier got my umbrella but yeah we're gonna uh check out what we can today make the most out of it even though it's wet first hike in the redwoods let's go it sure is wet and dark in this forest Look, Julian, your first redwood sequoias. We think. We're pretty sure those are. Can you see it? He's been super interested in his surroundings like over the past few days. So this is a good time for him to be coming out to the forest. He's looking he's up. really into this umbrella right now. <laughs> Just like, I, he's never seen an umbrella until right now. <laughs> wow. Very dinosauric looking. Yeah. I think they did shoot Jurassic Park around the corner here. I think by any definition, this qualifies as a dark ass forest. Julian for scale. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a 15 ish pound baby and a mammoth sequoia. He's basically smaller than the beginning of its root system that sticks out the ground. It does have Jurassic Park vibes around here. Yep. Oh, it's so romantic. There's like a little creek down below. Lots of water because of all this rain, I'm sure. And all these nice leaves. This is a really, really pretty spot. So obviously this amount of saturation by water is not that pleasant for humans. But being here when it is like this, it's really seeing the forest in its element. Because it takes this much water to have it be this green. That's true. And right now that it's raining and all the water is running through all the little parts and creeks and corners of it. And it's like alive kind of, you know, it's, it's really cool. Well, this is a big sequoia, I can recognize it wow. here. Wow, yeah, that's a big one. Incredible, seriously incredible here. Here we go, we reached the epic clearing with a lot of mist. And we hear birds, very cool place. Yeah, there's just um, a lot added by the mist and the moisture right now. I think if you came on a dry day, it would be more pleasant, but you wouldn't be as dramatic such an inspiring environment so i'm thinking i am on my quest to retire from my job and i need to make money quick so that i can be secure together with my family for the rest of our lives and i'm thinking all these nfts right now that people are talking about which is totally a ponzi scheme but whatever um they're all garbage cartoons pretty much what if i take some amazing photos of nature and sell them as nfts mushroom nft collection anyone what a magical path. It's red from the trees with green carpet all around it and huge trees over it. And mist is rolling in the distance. It's like poetry, visual poetry. I don't know, this is what makes me excited. Not so much going clubbing or something like that. We're approaching our cutoff time because it gets really dark really quickly here. But I think we just found the creek which is cool. We don't leave in the middle of the trail without any kind of end objective. There it is. Yeah, to me on a, on a day this full, this is a river. <laughs> yeah, this is a river, not a creek, <laughs> but pretty. 
All right, well, very, very unfortunate that we have to turn back because it's so cool here, but we started so late because of the rain. Yeah, I'm just fortunate that we did get out to do a walk today because it was pouring so bad this morning and throughout most of the afternoon. So I'm glad there was a big enough break for us to get out. And we did make it to the river at least, or the creek, whatever it's called. <laughs> so we saw lots on this trail, so nothing to be too sad about. On the next episode of California Adventure. We will walk for as long as we can. This is why it's no joke to come out into nature. Even just driving out here can be a little scary. Wow, we just ran into a freshly fallen tree here. <laughs>